In his victory speech delivered before a crowd of hundreds of thousands of his supporters in Chicago's Grant Park, Obama proclaimed that change has come to America. People are also saying that, had, that Barack Obama's presidency means that Dr. King's dream has been fulfilled. All right. How many people agree with that statement, that Dr. King, King's dream has been fulfilled? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 eight. All right. A good third of the moon does. How many people think that his dream has not been fulfilled yet? But you have to issue him a specific challenge. You've got to say the specific issue, even if it is something dealing with your school. It doesn't have to be on a national political level. It can be about getting the lights turned on on your block because it's too dark after 12 and that's when people's cars get broken into. If that's the most important issue to you, then that's what I want you to talk about. I need y'all to tell me, what are the issues? You have Barack Obama's ear. You're going to write a letter and do a video and you're gonna have Barack Obama's ear. What do you want to tell him? What do you want to ask him? What do you want to demand from the President of the United States? In the 1960s, Martin Luther King wrote numerous letters and telegrams to President John F. Kennedy. He wrote to him about many issues, including the campaign in Albany, Georgia, the campaign in Birmingham, Alabama, and the bombing of the 16th Street Baptist Stuff Church. Stuff that people is learning in private schools, it's not equivalent to what we learn. Like the stuff private we learn now, people in private schools learn it when they in the lower grades. And you know if what I'm saying? able to gain more opportunities yeah. because our parents is poor, we they can't afford. But not all people that go to public schools are poor. In the spirit of Dr. King's letters to JFK, we are writing letters to Barack Obama on MLK Day, January 19th, 2009, at the Washington National Cathedral. Dear President Barack Obama, Hello, my name is Marcus Pizza and I attend Benjamin Barrett Academic High School. I congratulate you on becoming the 44th President of the United States of America. I thought I lost hope in this great nation, but through you, hope is born. I admire your confidence to even run for President. You are a courageous man and I have so much respect for you. Martin Luther King would have been proud to know that you're the 44th President. For the first time in my life, I look at the President of the United States and I see something very strong and genuine in character. For the first time, I see someone I can relate to not just by color, but by values and mindset. I have no doubt in my mind that you will be a great President, however, just to let my voice be heard now in case I never get another chance, I would like to share with you some of the problems I feel are very pressing in, youth, in the youth of today. Although we have made great progress, there is still so much to accomplish. Talking so much about change and addressing current issues, I would like you see. I would like to see you follow through during this time in office. We need to help ourselves before we can help anyone else. We need to assess the problems within before we try to solve problems outside. Like any normal human being, all I want is to be successful in life. It has been imprinted in my mind, but as long as I can remember that to attain greatness, I need a good foundation. The economic depression we are suffering from is greatly affecting our school system. I am proud to attend one of the best public schools in Washington, D.C., but I wonder why the public school just two blocks over is one of the worst. No kids should have to enter a dilapidated building with rats inhabiting the lunchroom and teachers who care less than the students do. No doubt, D.C. public schools are in need of a lot of work. Yes, our school district is in need of a dramatic change. Yeah, I'm not receiving the best education that I should to prepare me for the best future. That's not fair to me or any other kid living in the district of Columbia. The money our school were getting has been at a halt since the bailout. I think you and others should work on a bailout plan for the schools. Our school cannot operate efficiently without proper materials needed to do so. I also wonder why my public school has more materials than other schools in my area. Yes, we need to better our test scores, but to do that and be sure that goal is reached, we do need the proper necessities, such as a full set of books for class, equipment needed to build a robot, chemicals needed to complete labs in biology and chemistry. We want to learn to have the opportunity to compete in competitions with schools around the country, but how are we supposed to give all this effort with no support? As a favor, I ask you to give every single school in America, in America the same curriculum. Because as a student, I feel like students from other counties are receiving a far more better education than I am. What would Dr. King ask of President Barack Obama? Now, I've heard a lot of people say in the last couple of days, and the last couple of months, matter of fact, in the last year and a half since he's been running for president, 
how proud Dr. Martin Luther King would be of Barack Obama, and that is absolutely true. Dear President Obama, congratulations on your presidency. Although it, it seems, seems we, we have, have reached the promised, promised land, we the people are many steps away from reaching our goal. It is my hope that you're able to carry on the American dream. With regard to education, when trying, trying to, to pull, pull people, people together, together, it is not always easy. In my own experiences, being a community organizer on a national level, I have, I have learned to speak eloquently while marching with determination. In my conversations with DC high school students, I have learned of the social inequalities and the economic disparity between neighborhoods. For example, the students in Ward For example, 7 and 8. Students in Ward 7 and 8 not only lack the materials, but also lack the encouragement that is needed to achieve a great education. As you become a resident of DC, I challenge you to walk the halls with your White, White House, House correspondents and experience, and experience our students our and their inability to learn on the same playing field. Further, I ask that you use Washington, D.C. Public, public School Systems school systems as a prototype for national education reform. I appeal, I appeal to, to you to, to use the, the influence, influence of your, of your great, great office, office to persuade the people of this community to face the reality of the need for national education reform. Sincerely, Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. Sincerely, John Taylor. Sincerely, J.C. Moore. Sincerely, Donnie Guerreros. Sincerely, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. I wish you good luck in office. Thank you.